Hi buddy. My name is Cindy. Happy Thursday. So it's midway to July already and I want to talk to you guys about my July TBR progress. I can happily say I am halfway through my July TBR. In the beginning of July, I finished reading An Ember in the Ashes by Saba Sahir. I recently uploaded a video review of this book. I will link that below for you guys to check out. I absolutely love this book. It was amazing. And I can't wait for next year for the sequel to come out. Hopefully, it will answer all of my burning questions I have from this book. Then I read Amy and Roger Epic Detour by Morgan Madsen. This was a refreshing book to read because I was still recovering from an ember in the ashes book hangover. It was a fun book to read. I felt as though I was actually on the road trip with Amy and Roger. I will talk more of this book in my July wrap up. I did a written review of this book on my blog. I will link that below for you guys too as well. Currently, I am reading The Man Man's Daughter by Megan Shepherd. This is the first book in the Mad Men's Daughter series. I actually ordered the second book in this series. Her Dark Curiosity by Morgan... Uh, sorry, not Morgan Madison. I actually ordered the sequel to this book, which is Her Dark Curiosity by Megan Shepherd from Book Outlet. So I will be getting that book sometime next week. This book it's so interesting so far. There is this eerie horror feeling I get whenever I watch a horror movie. And this book brought that same feeling with me because I am dying to know what is going on. I am very looking forward to finishing this book. And hopefully I will get to reading Her Dark Curiosity sometime end of this month or maybe next month. We will see you guys. Surprisingly enough, for the first two weeks of July, I did not buy any books. I was so focusing on reading my books in, t in my TBR that I completely forgot about buying books to add to my bookshelf. Then this week, I broke that rule because I bought a book three books from Book Outlet. One of them I mentioned already, which is Her Dark Curiosity by Megan Shepherd. I bought another two books last night off the Book Outlet website. Hopefully I will get all three books next week and you guys will be able to find out what those books are when I mention them in my July book haul. When I first started uh, booktubing, I was so obsessed with buying books after books after books to fill my bookshelf that I really didn't consider about the books I am willing to keep because I love them or I was buying them just because. So after a couple of months of doing these like crazy book hauls you guys have seen already, I have come to realize that I am only going to be buying books that I am willing to keep on my bookshelf. It is very hard to actually select books that I want to buy because there are so many books I want to buy in the first place. I generally pick up books because they have amazing synopsis and I end up either liking them or I find out the synopsis pretty much gives away what the books are about and there is nothing good about the book and I end up realizing I have this book now, what am I going to do with it? I still have that tendency because I am a book hoarder. Yeah, you know, that feeling when you go in the bookstore you're like, oh my god, I, I want to read that book, that book, that book, and especially that book. 
So I tell myself, okay, I gotta pick a book that has a really good synopsis. I heard amazing reviews about it. How many stars does it have a good read? If those all three check out, I am like, okay, I'm going to give you a chance. If that book is one where I will know that I will only read it once and not pick it up again after reading it the first time, to the library I go, or if it's cheap online, I might as well just buy the Kindle edition. Do you, you have this book buying problem the same as me? Are you planning on not being a selective book buyer? Or are you here to go what the heck with it and just buy whatever books you want? Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for upcoming videos. Make sure to check out my recent video which was a review of An Emperor in the Ashes by Sabah Sahir. I will see you soon guys. 